Welcome to Backyard Cooking with Joe, where we only use beets. Actually, it's experiment time, and we're going to use beets to dye textiles, just like I did in grade eight when Amber Novak and I won our first science fair award. All you need is fresh beets, if you grew them in your own garden even better. I'd say sort of a couple of beets per garment. For an added level of danger, I'm wearing white, but you can dress accordingly. Add the beets to a pot of boiling water and let simmer for about an hour. Yeah, just pretend this is boiling water. So I'm hoping that this white secondhand cotton sundress is going to be a very hot shade of pink red. I'm gonna dip it in here. Get it completely covered. So the darker the color, the longer you'll want to keep your garment in your beet concoction. For a lighter pink, just a couple of hours, and for that deep red, you might want to keep it a, a full 24 hours. Afterwards, rinse it in cold water and then iron it to lock that color in place. Like any good cooking show, I pre-dyed an item of clothing, one that I'll probably need very soon. It's a girl. So go nuts with beets in your own home and tune in next week when I turn these leftover beets into brownies. Oh. Rain, how is going back to natural fabrics the way to be fashion forward in the climate crisis? Natural fibers have a lot to add to the conversation. Even just getting to know what material you're putting on your skin um, makes us more conscious, more aware of our purchases. Um, it also provides opportunities for countries where farming is their main source of income to, to boost their economy. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we also have to be mindful of the trade-off between using land to grow food versus clothes. The source for organic material can be found in unexpected places. Lil, show us your laboratory, please. Our current project is basically growing kombucha leather. It's a yeast and bacteria um, symbiotic relationship. So you put the sugar in there and then the uh, yeast is able to take that sugar and then um, convert it into material that the bacteria can use to make the kombucha. A pellicel grows, which is essentially just a thin layer of cellulose. Yeah. Oh, okay. And we basically harvest that and then we dry it and then it turns into something like this. Amazing. So this is a very liquid form right now. Yes. What? Uh, how long does the process take from going from liquid to pro from harvesting the cellulose? All it has to do is just dry out and kind of evaporate the water, right? Oh, so okay. right now we are air drying it, so it can take up to two weeks, but we're also looking into maybe oven drying it, which would be a lot quicker. So after it's dried up, you can kind of see like, it's a very, it looks very leathery, doesn't it? Yeah, of course. Oh, it totally feels like leather. Yeah, and it's very strong actually as well. Um, it's, it's like leather, but I also would eat it. Yeah, yeah, we often talk about that, but I would, I would advise against it. It smells like kombucha. Yes. From what I know. Because it is water-based, it's not actually waterproof. So what we've done here is we kind of taken beeswax and we've kind of just ironed it on and it makes it, here if you touch it, it's less sticky. Oh, uh, yeah. You can already kind of tell that it's a more... It feels of, stronger yeah, too. Yeah, 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 for sure. This one is actually one of our leather um, wallet prototypes. Amazing. Yeah. And so you can see here, there's actually layers of cotton in between. And how we did that was, all we had to do was kind of take this um, cotton cloth and infuse it into the blend. And it actually grows around the cotton. Oh, wow. The cellulose grows around the cotton, yeah. What are the advantages of using kombucha? So it's... Um, biodegradable versus what's on the market right now is very plastic based and it can flake very easily. In the kombucha brewing process, this is a byproduct that is just discarded, right? So it's actually very beneficial in that sense of you're not really adding anything. It's already pre existing industries that you're just taking a byproduct of and kind of reusing it, right? Into something that's very useful and helpful.